Hi folks, I'm Sohan on Android.com where we get Hoi on Android every day. Anyway, I just got my Metabone Speed Booster. It's an adapter for the Panasonic GH4, so you can use it with a Canon and also get one less f-stop. So I have a f2.8, now it's becoming f1.8. Um, you can compare the end of my last video and I had problem with the Fotasi, the cheaper speed booster I bought for like a hundred bucks. The problem was it, the quality wasn't that great, the colors were a little bit off. But with this one, the colors are a lot nicer. And also when I put it in photo mode, I can get like super wide angle. And also I can control the aperture now finally with uh, the camera. Before I couldn't, it was all set. Uh, but so really nice stuff and it should look a lot better I think. So this is sort of a comparison video. But I'll do another comparison video for that for those of you. For those of you who've been following me with my camera stuff, uh, and I have a new site, of course. Uh, it's going to be called Nexus6 Root. Uh, dot high on Android.com. This way, all you guys forget my, you know, name of my site. You can just go to high on Android.com. It'll be all listed there. Easy to find. Uh, but it's basically the same. Instead of Nexus6Root.com, now I'm going to do Nexus6Root.com. The dot high on Android.com. Nexus4 Root. Uh, high on Android Doc for, for the future phones. All the older sites will still be on it. Anyway, let's go ahead and do a quick overview uh, of a Lollipop ROM. If you want the fastest Lollipop Android 5.1 ROM on your Nexus 6, uh, definitely check out this ROM. Uh, also, I've got it overclocked to, I think, 2.9 no, uh, gigahertz, I think. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, stop blabbering. Let's go do this, baby. <sighs> Hey guys, so I've got uh, the Chroma ROM here. Uh, this is one of the first Lollipops available for the Nexus 6. I don't think it's available for other phones. But you can see, you can make use of the, uh, the native LED lights, the hidden lights that uh, Google didn't tell us about when you bought the phone. Uh, that is activated. Green is for, I think, Twitter notifications, which I've been getting here. I have been successfully high on Android, Dr. Sexy, featured. Uh, anyway, let's do a quick overview of Chroma ROM. Also, this ROM comes with Franco kernel, but I don't know why it's actually underclocked, under, uh, underclocked at 2.65 like gigahertz, uh, when it should be running 2.7 gigahertz for the stock. So I installed Lean kernel instead. I mean, Franco kernel is great. Uh, I'm not telling you it's bad, but I'm just saying I want it more overclocking. So don't take it. Uh, personally, Franco, uh, 2.88 gigahertz. This one defaults at 2.8 gigahertz. This is a overclock, under volted, so a version of Lean Kernel. So which means you'll be able to get uh, 2.88 gigahertz or 2.9 gigahertz, pretty much, uh, with under volting, which should give you plenty good battery life even with overclocking. Um, so very good stuff. All you have to do actually install the kernel. You don't even need a kernel um, adjuster or anything like that. If you, you want to like put it down because you need longer battery, then you know so you can adjust it. Go ahead and install the Trickster mod. Then you can go ahead and downclock it. You know back to like 2.64, which is I think stock. Actually, it shouldn't be 2.69. All right, maybe I'm getting myself confused. But 2.88, and I really like the Lean kernel. I use it on my Note 4, Note 3. Um, the developer of Lean Kernel is pretty awesome. Interactive X, don't forget to donate to him, by the way. If you want a, people to donate money to, definitely he's one of those people. Uh, this ROM is pretty cool. It gives you, you know, even though we're at early stages, a lot of developers are still developing. Um, you can get Chroma settings here where you can go ahead and get some additional options. Um, so sort of better than running stock Android. Uh, you can get a bunch of different battery icons. Let's actually try some together. Uh, circle here. And sorry, I, I don't know. I'm testing out my camera and it looks like you can barely see it, but it could be because it's in 4K. Um, so maybe it'll look just fine. Double tap to sleep. Make sure you enable those. Brightness control. That's double tap to sleep. And also if you want to control the LC, oh, you have to unlock it actually. If you want to control, you can go ahead and do that. So that's really cool. Notification count, number of notifications. If you want to see that also. Uh, show weather. And also navigation bar. You have additional option. Let me adjust the camera here real quick. I think it's too bright. My last video. I'm still getting used to this camera, so uh, bear with me. But once I have it down, all the lighting should be good. But I feel like it's a little bit hard to 
get used to. Clear recent, recent button. Uh, by default, Lollipop doesn't have it, so if you want that, you can set that to the bottom right, left. I mean, these are pretty standard stuff, but, uh, you know, stock Nexus ROMs, uh, Nexus firmwares don't have it. Also, you get additional screenshot menus here. All right. Now, volume rocker, uh, volume rake. And that's actually pretty much it. Uh, everything else is stock Android uh, 5.1. Also, to get root, you do have to flash the super user, super SU zip file, make sure you install that. And uh, we're starting with Lollipop, super SU app will not show up in your app door. And then people freak out. Just go to settings. Uh, and I think you have to actually enable developer options. Make sure you hit build on number like a bunch of times until you see developer options. And then you'll see super SU, uh, which you'll be able to uh, control here. You don't have to do this. Just don't do it. Just install Super SU Zip later. Uh, that's about it. The performance is actually pretty good. Uh, we can do it real quick together and see what we get. Should be about 49,544. That's what I got last time. Um, I did that actually for a couple times. It should be a lot higher, maybe like 51, 52,000 uh, if you run a couple times. Camera works just fine. Everything works on this ROM, obviously, because it's a, a, a Nexus device, which is the beauty of it. All right, that's about it, folks. So definitely check it out. If you're looking for pretty good performance above stock and you want a little bit more customization uh, while more other developers are developing other cool ROMs uh, based on Android 5.1, definitely check out the Chroma ROM. And again, I have uh, the new site, nexus6root.highonandroid.com. So all you have to remember is being high on Android and you'll be able to find my new site. And I'll have a menu link there where you can go to nexus6root.com. Anyway, guys, I just took a look at the 4K footage uh, with my new Beta Bones, and it, the difference is amazing. You can actually see the little strands of my hair, and everything is way in like 10 times more focused than the video I made earlier with the Fotasi Speed Booster. Um, so the 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 Speed Booster I got, the Meta Bones, is actually 599, 600 bucks versus 100 bucks. So it does make a huge difference. So if you're gonna get a speed booster, definitely get the Meta Bones. Uh, and I'll have further videos again about it. But uh, everything looks really clear here. This is all in 4K, can you believe it? Uh, anyway, I love it. Um, definitely check out the the, uh, the Chroma ROM and the Lean Kernel, very good combo. Even if you don't wanna run Chroma uh, ROM, maybe you're running another ROM, try Lean Kernel if you need some overclocking and undervolting. Um, it should make your phone a lot faster uh, while, you know, it's undervolted, so it's not going to actually drain the battery so much. Uh, you, might, you might actually get better b uh, battery life. So anyway, so I'm going to update you guys. Uh, more videos coming. As always, uh, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe. And as always, I'll stay on Android.